Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So happy Saturday. So today I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how I season my beef bulgogi. It's a Korean recipe. So I have this uh, two pounds of beef. It's re cut really, th sliced really thin and cut small. And then I have some green onions and then um, garlic. I use it for one tablespoon of garlic. So at a big um, two cloves of garlic. So let's begin. So in my bowl, I apologize, I have a teaspoon of white sugar because I don't have any brown sugar and then a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of sesame, pure sesame oil. Okay. And then I'm going to add um, three tablespoons of soy sauce because it's each pound is going to be a cup, not a cup, tablespoon of soy sauce. So I'm going to put three tablespoon of soy sauce okay so very i'm just gonna make as easy as possible to make this beef bulgogi okay and then i'm gonna mix it because we don't have a um Oh God, I couldn't even think right. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, vinegar. Oh, maybe a one four teaspoon. Okay. One, oh snap, it's a lot. So I'm gonna throw that away. I just need a little bit, okay. Pears, that's what I said. Asian pear, it's really good to add in this recipe but because we don't have it so we just use a small amount of vinegar just to tenderize our meat and it's really really good if you have beer asian pear is the best to make a um, korean bulgogi okay so now i am going to drop this here okay all of it to the meat okay just like that get all of that and then i'm going to massage the meat okay I'm gonna use my finger because I love to use my hand when I am mixing the meat and the sauce because you can massage really well to your meat, okay? So this is how I make my beef bulgogi. And also you can use chicken if you want to, okay? Next, I am going to add the garlic, okay? It will be um, two teaspoon of garlic. And then a green onions, okay, that we chop, fine chop, okay. And then we're gonna massage again. Make sure that the sauce and the meat they're really hugging each other to have to be able to have a best result of beef bulgogi, okay? Bulgogi, I mean bulgogi, okay. So I'm gonna mix this really well, like that, okay. And I am going to get my pot. Okay, start my heat. We'll continue massaging, mixing all the seasoning. This is a very easy to make, guys, and it's delicious to put on top of your rice. Okay, very easy to make. Now, because we're not, um, we're not um, to marinate this. This reason I add the vinegar to tenderize the meat. Um, again, like what I said a few seconds ago, that uh, the Asian pear would help to tenderize the meat. And because we don't have one, so we put just a little amount, little bit amount of uh, vinegar. Okay. Okay. So this is done. Okay. I'm gonna wash my hand. So I'm gonna move the camera to this stuff. Sorry guys, okay. Okay. You know, when I make my video, I don't eat it or anything as is because I don't know how to eat it. So I apologize and I hope you continue supporting my YouTube channel. Um, 
I really appreciate it, you guys, for um, subscribing my YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm gonna get some. You know, because I'm making this for my family, usually if I'm just by my, by cooking for myself, I like to add some a little bit hot sauce in it. But because I'm cooking for my family today, I can add, I could not add any hot sauce, okay? So, I'm gonna add some cooking oil, or maybe two tablespoon of oil, okay? So I'm gonna allow this to warm a little bit. Then we're gonna add our white onions. Okay. Just like that. So I'm just gonna drop my white onions, guys, right here. And what I'm going to do is just to, um, saute it a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Just like that. And I'm gonna drop my meat. Okay, so this is a three pounds of beef. And it's really, really important that you ask your uh, butcher place, a butcher guy or the store um, to cut your meat really thin. And then chuck, you know, slice it small to have a good result. All the seasoning, you know, hugging to your meat is really, really good. Okay. Now, in regards to the cooking oil, you can just add it probably because this is a lot of meat, so you can do like two tablespoons. Okay, you don't need to put a lot of meat, you don't want to be greasy food. So, I'm just going to continue to so did my garlic, not garlic, onions. Now, to make uh, this, it's important that you're going to cook your beef really well done, okay? Like, really well done. And then another thing also, guys, um, do not put any salt because the soy sauce is salty. So, you have to be careful that too. So, um, don't add any salt when you're making your bulgogi, okay? So nice boiling here. So now I'm gonna mix my onions and my beef. Okay, just like that. Korean bulgogi, it's important that your meat is really well done and it's really well seasoned and balanced. And some of the recipe for Korean, it's, um, you put some um, chili paste, but I don't use chili paste.
perfect. It's still good. We're gonna continue cooking for a more, few more minutes. Okay, so this is done. Okay, so I'm gonna put in this bowl. Okay, just like that. This is really, really good for the top of your rice. So, delicious and plus they don't take very long to cook because the beef is cut really um, small and really thin so um, yeah very quick to make okay next we're going to put the top of the um, dish, some sesame seeds, and we garnish some green onions. Okay, guys, so this is a beef bulgogi. It's, it's really, really easy to, easy to make. So, thank you, thank you so much, guys. I hope you like this recipe. Very simple and delicious. And please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to press notifications so you can receive all my incoming videos. May God bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Be careful out there. I love you guys. Bye-bye.